File this under people who are allegedly so smart can be so dumb. Harvard students who signed a letter blaming Israel for the Hamas terror attacks. Well, they're backtracking after a more than a dozen CEOs said they're not going to hire any of them. One of the students now saying, quote, as a board member of a Harvard group that signed the statement on Israel, I think it was egregious and have resigned from my role. I am sorry for the pain this has caused. My organization did not have a formal process, and I didn't even see the statement until we had signed on. Here to react, staff writer at The Federalist, Evita Duffy Alfonso. Evita, thanks for being here. I want to focus on the kids in a moment, but let's start with the corporations. Quite a reversal from our typically woke corporations. Your thoughts? It is. Um, I, so I have, I have a lot of thoughts on this, and they're complicated because as a conservative student, right, this is exactly what corporate America does to us. There were so many kids when I was in school who, who were afraid to be in college Republicans' pictures because they were afraid that a future employer would one day see it and then discriminate against them. So I'm hesitant to support uh, doxing these students, but I will say that if these CEOs really wanted to help the students, they would be going after the universities who are the ones that are teaching them um, to, to behave in this way, to put out these Marxist-inspired statements in support of the Palestinians. This is exactly what they've been taught to do in school. And so they wanted to do anything, really. The CEOs would, instead of sending blind checks to the universities, they would say, we're going we're gonna to use the power of the, of the purse to demand that these schools stop hiring exclusively Marxist professors, and they stop establishing fake fields of study like CRT, which is where all of this is stemming from. Gave a great answer when it came to what is happening in the schools. I want you to take a step back and answer what is happening in these families? Because I think that's a broader issue. Why are college students in the United States of America, merely 22 years removed from 9-11, siding with terrorists in this conflict? Yeah, it's, so I actually don't. I don't. I don't think that it is a, a familial issue. I really do think that it is the fault of the universities and the indoctrination machines. Right. I'm upset at the student statements for two reasons. One of them is that they claim to be in support of the Palestinians, but just like you said, nowhere do they condemn the actions of Hamas, which have unleashed hell on many innocent Palestinians. This is a terrorist group that should be really easy for the students to condemn, and they have it. And the other problem is that they're using this anti-colonialist Marxist language language to falsely equate the Palestinians with BLM or with indigenous rights. This is all coming from the schools. These are They, they get Marxist-inspired classes. We have Marxist-inspired departments where they learn that everyone on earth can be split into two groups, oppressed and oppressor. And because they view the Palestinians as, as the oppressed, right, they excuse all kinds of violence in the name of writing that inequity. This is textbook Marxist behavior. This is coming from the university. It's not coming from normal American families. Um, and I think that if, if the CEOs really wanted to do something about it, they would use the power of the purse to make real change within the university systems. Quick follow up on what you just said. You mentioned Marxism. Do you believe that this is all part of a concerted effort by people who want to bring down America to rip away and attack our Judeo Christian values that formed this nation? 20 seconds to you, Evita. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that's the whole purpose of, of Marxism in general, right? This is a godless ideology. This is an ideology that, that wants to rip Western civilization and, and Christian values um, away away from this country. That, 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 is, that is the purpose of it. And if we're going to stop it, right, because the university system spread their, their poison into all aspects of American life, we have to address the universities and the indoctrination machines that they have become. I also love the fact that these children who've never had any consequences for any of their actions, when they're first presented with the consequence, they fold like a lawn chair, and that's what these Harvard students did. Evita Duffy Alfonso, thank you for your insight. We appreciate it.